Okay, go. Okay, we're going down to cut some grass. Uh, to make some grass rope, and it's 8 in the morning, and I'm sick, and I get cold. Hey Evan, try to find Roxy. Alright, so to make the size rope that I'm going to make, I get about this much grass, and I try to get as much brown grass as I could, and I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I use it, because um, it's better if it dries, and also, just like a disclaimer thing, um, this is pretty much just the night hawk and light video thing. I'm just pretty much copying his, but I'm also going to tire my rope, which he didn't do in his video. And I'm going to try to make my own tire. Uh, yeah. He must have died eating a piece of grass. Yeah, it looks like he's eating a piece of grass. What if it just came to- <laughs> God. That mouse is tiny. Alright, so the, the grass was a little bit wet, so I'm just going to leave it out here in the driveway to dry while I'm working on making my uh, can thing. Alright, so I got a fire going. It's not the best fire, but... So I got the fire, and then I got a spaghetti jar. So I know it's made out of glass, it's probably not a good idea, so that's why I'm heating it up right now. But what's going to happen, hopefully, is that fire will, like, cook the wood inside. The wood will give off the gas. And I realized, so, I was going to make tire. But I realized that the container I thought I had doesn't even exist. So, I need something way bigger than this to make enough tire to, like, soak a rope in it. So, I'm just going to do this to make some wood gas. And maybe I'm going to try and light it. See, see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm still going to make some rope. But I'm just not going to be able to soak it in tar. Alright, so the glass did, like, crack. Which I expected to happen, anyway. But if you look really close, uh, you can see the inside of that jar is really smoky. And if you look at the top, there's, like, smoke coming off it. So my setup is real bad, and I probably won't even be able to light the smoke coming off. Um, but, cause, and there's not that much, maybe more will start coming out, but there's so much more smoke sort of like contaminating it. And probably right now it's just steam, so, yeah. Alright, so it's like 1 o'clock now, <coughs> and the, uh, the grass is dry. It's like really hay now, there's no more like... The wetness in it, so now I think it's ready to make the rope. 
Alright, so. To make the rope, what you first want to do is you want to grab the rope. And you want to get a bundle about the thickness of the rope that you want uh, to make. Um, so I'm going to say about this. That looks maybe a little bit more. Because I've made it, I think I've made it this thick before. And it didn't last, it didn't, uh hold up very good so I think I'm gonna do maybe even thicker than that <sighs> this thick uh, yeah it seems good so you take it and you start you twist it up like this and you twist it and keep twisting it until it gets to a point where it'll just twist onto and like over itself. And, and I I found a trick is like you take turns, twist in each side, and then you keep twisting. So right away, I started to sort of start at a part uh, that didn't have a lot left, like this. So what you want to do. You see it twisted, it's really thin, so what you want to do is you take more grass and you splice it with the grass you already got. Uh, probably a little bit more grass there. Jeez, I'm going to run out of grass quick. This isn't going to be a very long rope. But you go like this, and then you just splice it on there with the rest, and you keep twisting. Oh, gonna need a lot more than that but yeah that's pretty much how it goes and you keep twisting keep splicing and then it should uh, you should get a rope all right uh, time for a strength test of the rope um, all I did I just tied off the end as best as I could I didn't do a very good job but I just tied it off this is where it starts this is the tie off but strength test Alright, so, it, I mean, it held me, and I jiggled around a bit, and it doesn't even seem like, uh, many strands broke off or anything, so, yeah, seems pretty good. Alright, so this is the finished product of the rope. Um, so, after I had finished it, all I did, I just cut off like as much uh, runoff as I could because of the splicing will leave like a lot of hairs on it sort of thing so I just cut that off tried to clean it up a little bit um, but yeah